in a world where carbs are your enemy, you need one man to help you fight your battles. That man is Jimmy. Combating nutrition, disinformation, and general bull. It's Jimmy Rants. JimmyRants.com. What's up, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another Instagram Live. And we're here with another episode of Jimmy Rants. If you're brand new to Jimmy Rants, hop on over to JimmyRants.com. You'll see how the show works. We start off over on Instagram. So go follow me there, at Livin Low Carb Man, L-I-V-I-N-L-O-W-C-A-R-B-M-A-N. Once you are there, you will discover lots of great content that you can access live, like all these people are doing right now. If you do miss the live, you can watch it on replay for up to 24 hours. After 24 hours, it does disappear, but we put all the past episodes up on YouTube in archived form. And then finally, we have the best of the best moments of this here show in podcast form, the Jimmy Rants podcast. It is on Apple Podcasts as well as Stitcher. All of these links, you guys, are at JimmyRants.com. <clears throat> Today's Jimmy Rants is all about a conversation that I had at this conference I met. So those of you that follow me regularly online, you know I'm currently at the Metabolic Health Summit in Long Beach, California, and been talking to a lot of great people. It's kind of a nerdy, sciencey, ketogenic conference where a lot of the researchers and practitioners that are using a low-carb, high-fat, ketogenic diet with their patients come together to share information. We've heard great information on brain health and cancer, and today they're going to have a cardiovascular track. I'm giving a talk tomorrow about how you translate the science into lay people language. Really, really great conference. So uh, quite the eclectic group of people attend these kind of conferences. And it's not just lay people, it's a whole lot of medical people. And so yesterday, I heard from one of the medical doctors, came up to me and said how much my book inspired her, Keto Clarity, and uh, how she now uses a ketogenic approach. But she was lamenting, and this is what I wanna talk about here today. <clears throat> she was lamenting that even with keto, she's not quite getting the weight loss results that she's wanting, and she made the statement that I've tried it all and nothing works. So can I just say that that is a tautology in the dieting world that people have used on, over and over and over again for so long that people, they've just kind of gotten used to, well, if they're not seeing results, well, I've tried it all and nothing works. And I think we need to stop telling ourselves that you've tried it all and quote, nothing works when it comes to your diet. Because I'm a big believer in finding what works for you. And if that means you try something, it didn't work, try something, it didn't work, try something, it didn't work, then that's what you do. You keep trying until you find the thing that works for you. So for this lady <clears throat> who just happens to be a medical doctor, She's like, you know, it's, it's bad for me to start talking about keto to my patients when I myself can't get the weight under control. And so I was explaining to the medical doctor, well, you know all of the hormonal reasons why weight loss can be hard. You know the impact of cortisol levels that happen as a direct result of stress. And she admitted, I am highly stressed in my life. There it is. But I said, let's dig a little deeper about what you're doing on your keto. And so I start inquiring with her about what she's doing. And in the morning time, she has black coffee with coconut water in it, a significant amount of coconut water. I said, do you realize coconut water has a bunch of sugar in it, right? What? This is a medical doctor. And I'm explaining to her that coconut water is probably 17 grams of carbohydrate, mostly sugar. That was a revelation to her. I had no idea. Medical doctor. So it just goes to show you that we all can learn. So I encouraged her to cut the coconut water out. And then here's the other thing that she was doing, thinking she was being keto. 
she'd pretty much uh, drink the coconut water coffee in the morning and then have black coffee throughout the day. And then her one meal of the day, late in the day, would be like a little salad and a little bit of steak. And that was it for the whole day. And how many calories do you think you're consuming? Oh, about 11, 1200. <laughs> Not enough calories. <laughs> and she was just like, well, I'm so afraid I'm gonna gain weight because I know uh, all those calories will, I'm like, you're not eating near enough calories. So back to what we're talking about here today, if you're just joining us, we're talking about this whole notion that people tell themselves that they've tried everything, tried it all, and quote, nothing works when it comes to diet. And so I'm at this conference and talking to a medical doctor and the medical doctor is like, uh, I'm doing all these things and nothing's working with keto. And I shone a light on what she was doing and I think it opened her eyes to some things she was doing. So when something's quote, not working, make sure you're doing the something to begin with. And I encouraged her to read Keto Clarity again because there was no thing in there that says co coconut water is okay for most people. Um, and there was nothing in there about under eating calories. I told her, I said, I bet if you bumped up your calories in the form of fat, cut out the coconut uh, water from your coffee and started kind of doing a real hardcore strict keto for a period of time, you would see the needle move. And then we get to this nothing worked part of this discussion. And that usually is code for weight loss. So if it quote didn't work, it just meant you didn't lose weight. Um, and of course, you guys have heard me rant again and again and again. And I'll still rant some more about how weight is not necessarily the measure when it comes to your health. And so for this uh, doctor, medical doctor that I was talking to at this conference, she had extra weight on the body, not morbidly so, but enough to say, okay, she wants to try to lose some weight, maybe 30, 40 pounds. And, and so she was thinking she was doing all the right things. And of course it comes down to, is that her goal to lose weight or is her goal to be energetic and healthy and vibrant on the outside to show her patients, whoa, look what that keto did. Even if the weight hadn't come off yet, look what that ketogenic diet did for her in terms of who and what she is. You guys see me on camera all the time, other than a little bit of raspy voice from talking to so many people at this conference. I am energetic, I am thriving. Even though I have extra weight on the body, I'm thriving. So it's very tempting to say, well, I've tried everything and nothing works. It's a cop out if you wanna ask me. So that's, that's full on Jimmy rants for you guys here today. If you keep telling yourself, I've tried everything and nothing works, that's just a cop out. And I don't mind being blunt about that because we've all said that. We've all tried to tell ourselves, I've tried everything and nothing works. When the reality is we've tried a modicum of things and maybe we haven't found that right formula of diet changes, lifestyle changes, uh, you know, lowering stress in our lives, getting better sleep, doing different things to help move the needle. And when I say move the needle, not necessarily just with fat loss, but also with some of your health markers. So regulars of this show, you know I just got done with a keto carnivore experiment for 28 days, lost 23 pounds in that period of time. But more importantly, I started learning things about myself, the ability to go very long periods of fasting, um, feeling better, knowing that my blood markers are probably coming into line because of all of that. So tinker and test and find what works for you is one of my common refrains and it has not changed. Tinker and test, find what works for you. When you do those things, you don't make stupid statements like I've tried everything and nothing works. You're giving up at that point. And hopefully by now you know uh, what I think about that. That's unacceptable. It is unacceptable for anybody to say, well, throw their hands up in the air. Well, I've tried everything and nothing works. No, stop it. Stop fooling yourself. Stop thinking that everything in this world is against you. Am, am I talking to you right now? Because I have had those feelings myself that at some point, oh, well, nothing's working. I have a genetic predisposition because everybody in my family has been big and had health problems. I have a genetic tendency, by the way, you guys, for cardiovascular disease. 
My, both my grandfathers died in their early 50s of it. Uh, my dad had a heart attack at 48 and 50 and quintuple heart bypass surgery at 54. My brother Kevin had three heart attacks at the age of 32 and died at the age of 41. So don't tell me about genetic predisposition. I'm supposed to be dying of a heart attack soon, but I'm not because I look at all those markers uh, of heart health and they're all spectacular. So you can buck the trend of your family genetics. You can keep looking and searching for those things that might work for you. And so my edification on this Jimmy Ranch to you is if nothing else, if you hear nothing else I've said today, remember this, you will find what works for you. But the only way you do that is you stay in the game and you continue to look for what works for you. So you're gonna agree with me that we need to stop telling ourselves that you've tried it all and that quote, nothing works when it comes to your diet because there's so many things out there that you probably have not tried. Now, let me, let me give a huge caveat. Don't go to crazy extremes. I was talking with a lady just yesterday and she was talking about how she's been on this kind of pseudo fasting diet. I'm like, oh, okay, tell me about it. And she said, oh, I'm, I'm only eating five to 600 calories a day and I've done this since August. And I was like, trying not to be judgmental, <laughs> but I wanted her uh, to know, you know, you probably should not be that low in calories. If you're going to want to implement fasting, maybe fast on days uh, and then every other day have all those calories you would have eaten in the two days into one day. And even then it was probably not enough calories. So don't go to those kinds of extremes, but certainly look for things that seem reasonable, look for things that seem sustainable for you to do over the long term. And once you do that and you figure things out and you keep tweaking things, and, and here's the thing, you might find a, a piece of what works for you and then you keep that piece, like for me, keto, you keep that piece, but then you add in other things. So I've added in infrared sauna therapy and I've added in some ice uh, cold therapy, cold thermogenesis. I've added in uh, doing some HIIT training. I've now recently added in this carnivore element. Keto is still the base, but I'm adding in all these things. Not that keto in and of itself is bad, but that keto with all these other things makes it even better. So stop telling yourself that you tried it all and nothing works when it comes to your diet because it's simply not true. All right, let's see what you guys have to say. Welcome in, welcome in. Thanks for being here. A friend started keto and gained 10 pounds in a few weeks. She gorged on vegetable oil salad dressing on her salad, said Beth of Keto Neogenesis. And see, that's the thing. Don't, don't put the onus on the diet if you're not doing the diet right. Because people often say, well, I went keto and I didn't, I didn't succeed. It failed me. And I'm going, okay, what book did you read about keto? Oh, I didn't read a book on keto. I just cut my carbs. And I'm going, you didn't do keto. Don't put that on keto. Put that on your inability to be able to educate yourself properly about what keto is. If you're going to do a well-formulated ketogenic diet, you must read some resource about it. Um, I've written several resources on it. Definitely pick up Keto Clarity as a beginner's guide, but really there's a bunch of books out there now. Now keep in mind, everybody has their own uh, spin and opinions about keto, but the diet in and of itself is this. Low carb to your tolerance level, moderate protein to your personal threshold level, high fat to satiety with mostly real whole foods. Mic drop. That's the diet. And then the nuances of it therein of your metabolism, what your insulin resistance or insulin sensitivity is, what your food sensitivity are, if you have autoimmune disease, there's so many variables at that point. But the basics of a ketogenic diet are very simple to understand. If you approach anything with a negative attitude that nothing ever works, of course it won't. Negative thoughts and attitude can sabotage anything, including keto. Thank you, beautiful binge eater, and you're right. What you think is what you are. So I'm handsome. Okay, maybe not always, but what you think is what you are when it comes to how you respond to any given anything. Um, and I do think that's why I started doing well on 
low carb, uh, but it also fed into itself. When I initially went low carb 15 years ago, I implemented it, started feeling better after those first few days sucked, uh, but I started feeling better within a week or two and was shedding a whole lot of weight. And it's in that process that because I was getting reinforcement that this was doing something good for me, it helped me stick with it and realize that it was working. And then when I got to the point in my journey where the weight loss kind of stopped and plateaued for about 10 weeks in a row, I'd already lost a significant amount of weight. I was already feeling better. I was already seeing subjective changes that were happening. So for me, I had the buy-in factor. But I think a lot of people, they get to the point where they've lost 20 pounds on keto or whatever they're doing, and then it stops. And they immediately go, okay, this stopped working. It didn't just stop working for you. Maybe you need to just relax, keep doing it. It's, it's done something for you. If you've shed 20 pounds, relax, keep doing it. And in that keeping doing it, you then learn, okay, these are all the other things that are happening for me. So, But you're right. You can sabotage yourself with all, ne all these negative self-talk. Mike Ray says, if you uh, have just tried all things, uh, Jimmy has you tried many things, but not close to all. No, no, no. Yeah, I've tried a lot of things, Mike, um, and certainly have not tried everything. I never did the cabbage soup diet. Ugh. Cabbage soup, no thanks. I never did the grapefruit diet. Ugh. No, uh, I haven't tried a lot of things, nor would I. Uh, at this point, I found something that keeps me very happy and very satisfied as I continue to work on the fat loss, uh, my health markers and how I feel and all that has gotten remarkably better. Bree says, I never thought I tried it all. I always felt that I just didn't have the willpower to eat correctly. Oh, that's another one. <laughs> uh, I could do a whole rant about that this was a moral flaw. Keto has helped me realize this is not the case. Well, good for you, Bree. But yeah, a lot of people, they do. I just don't have the willpower to eat keto. I can't give up bread. How do you, how do you, look in my eyes. How do you give up bread and pasta and sweets? <laughs> I just don't have that willpower. Rant coming soon. Okay, I love that. That's what a lot of people think. Uh, what doesn't work is feeding people information who in turn don't take accountability and learn on their own. Beth, that is something I tell people often. Okay, learn about something, get a cursory knowledge of something, but then at some point, advance beyond kindergarten when it comes to your knowledge. I want you to become a PhD graduate of what you're doing and what you're learning. And what happens is people listen to what other people are saying about keto. Oh, and that's verifiably true. If you watch Jimmy Ranch or you listen to me and you hear my work and you ever think, oh, because Jimmy Moore said it, I'm going to believe it, stop that right now. Stop that right now. I want you to hear what I say, obviously. I want you to you know, gather that information in your mind, but I want you to take the info that I share and then go and search it out for your own self. I encourage you to try to poke holes in anything that I say, find people that say the exact opposite, hear them out, then you can make an educated guess about what you think is right. Whether one side is right, the other side is right, or somewhere in the middle that's right for you. I think where we get into trouble is we become too reliant on gurus telling us what to think and you need to start thinking on your own. So you're definitely onto something there, Beth. Hello, Miss Brittany. Thanks for being here. Uh, ba -ba -ba. People need to stop forgetting it's all a process, 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 says Bonnie Lene. Negativity will bring on stress. Yeah, this lady, this medical doctor I was talking to at this conference uh, who said she's tried everything and nothing worked and she's trying to do keto and it's not working, trying to do carnivore, doesn't work, and blah, 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 blah. You know, she was stressing me out with all the stress that she was articulating. And I was like, <sighs> and I think she got it. I think she realized, okay, yeah, I need to stop stressing so much. Uh, ba -ba -ba. So the bottom line in this Jimmy Ranch, you guys, is stop telling yourself that you've tried it all and that nothing works when it comes to your diet. 
because the reality of the situation is you have not tried it all. There are so many things. Here, let me let me bring a chainsaw to your house and I'm gonna lop off your leg. You will lose 30 to 50 pounds extremely fast. I'm not responsible for you having to hop on one leg the rest of your life, but you sure did lose weight. So that worked, right? It worked for weight loss. Good job, good job. No, that would be stupid. But that's kind of the mentality that people have. They get so desperate for finding something that will work, again, code weight loss, that they forget that something is working. So if you go keto and you're not losing weight, I implore you, test your blood sugar, test your blood ketones, look at your triglyceride number, Look at your HSCRP for inflammation. Look at your A1C for how your blood sugar control over a period of time is doing. Look at your fasting insulin. These are all so much more interesting to tell you whether some modality that you're doing in your diet is actually working or not. And so hopefully this is resonating with a few of you guys today that might have had this whole notion of, well, I've tried everything and nothing works. And I hope you know that is a lie from the pit of hell that you need to get out of your mind. It's one of those dieting tautologies that we all tell ourselves, uh, everything in moderation, uh, calories in, calories out. I've tried every diet, nothing works. Stop fooling yourself and start embracing what a healthy lifestyle change is all about. That's it for this episode of Jimmy Ranch. JimmyRance.com is the website. We start on Instagram. So go follow me there at Live in Low Carb Man, L I V I N L O W C A R B M A N. Once you're there, you can engage in the content live just like all these people did here today. If you missed the live, watch it on replay for up to 24 hours on, uh, on Instagram. But then we do pop them over onto YouTube for you to see the past episodes. So go subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never miss a single episode. And then finally, we have the best of the best moments of this year's show in podcast form on the Jimmy Rants podcast, Apple podcast, and Stitcher. You can access that. JimmyRants.com is the website. So until next time, we'll see you then.